Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to continue on digging into this bag right here full of new products that I have not yet tested out. So I'm going to mainly focus on some Dior products that I picked up, and of course, I'm going to try to pick out as many products as I can so I can uh, try them out for you guys in today's video. I am going to be linking everything down below, but the reason why I'm focusing more on the DR products that I picked up is because a couple of videos ago, one of my subscribers asked me to do so, and girl, I am super late. I am so sorry about that. You already know how it is, and you know, better late than, what does it say? How does it go? <laughs> better late than sorry, I guess. Better late than never? I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, I completely forgot about that scene. Mejor tarde que nunca. There you go. I know how to say it in Spanish. Better late than never. There you go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. You can also like and comment down below because that definitely helps out my channel so much. I know that you guys are super busy all the time, but just giving me that love really helps me out in growing my channel. I mean, my channel is super slow, guys. <laughs> it grows super slow, but it grows, I promise you. And yeah, I'm just really excited to continue on doing this. And I'm just so passionate about. So yeah, I don't know why I added that in. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> So using this one right here, which is the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter in the shade two, multi-use complexion enhancing booster from Dior, retails for $55. So it is a liquid illuminator that enhances the complexion and smooth the skin. And so it says that you can use it on bare skin for natural radiance or mix it with your Dior Skin Glow Foundation. You can also layer it on top of your foundation and just use it on the highest points of your cheeks like a liquid highlighter. So for today's video, I'm going to be using it under foundation just because I do have these ones right here in the shade gold and pink and these ones are the forever glow maximizers go ahead and pump it out this is what it looks like just add it on the back of my hand okay that looks really nice yeah it blends in really nicely you can see one side from the other wow okay so let me just add a little bit of that to the skin just gonna add it all over the skin just for that glow within. I'm going to use BK Beauty brush, which is the 101 brush, just to blend it into the skin. So I went ahead and did my skincare a little while ago, maybe like 45 minutes ago. And I also shaved my face today, which I do that at least like once a month, just to really like exfoliate my skin and everything just lays on top of it so nicely. I usually don't apply makeup the same day that I do it, just, you know, to let it rest, but I wanted to do this video. Okay, I really like it. I love the glow that is giving my skin. Can you guys see it? But it's not metallic, it's really beautiful. I don't have a new foundation, so I am going to be using this one right here from Urban Decay in the shade 19. By the way, I decided to do a wear test on this foundation, so that should be coming your way probably before this video, just because it's already on my computer, ready to be edited. Um, so if it's up already, I am going to link it down below, just in case you guys are interested in knowing my thoughts in regards of this foundation. By the way, I am actually realizing while applying the foundation that this right here is not super hydrating. It's not like slippery or anything like that. I mean, the foundation pretty much is going on the way that it is. It's more on the mattifying side, and I do not feel like my skin is extra hydrated from this product right here just in case you were thinking that this is going to give you a little bit of hydration it's not so i don't have a new concealer per se but i do have a new shade which is this little mini concealer that i bought from hourglass i mean it went viral i wanted to get the bigger shade but they were sold out especially during the sale, it sold out like immediately. Um, this one is in the shade Beach. So let's go ahead and use it and see how it actually looks for my skin tone. Oh yeah, this is a much better tone for me. The one that I was using before is just a little bit too light. Let me speed it up over here. This is not new. Wow. Okay, I'm looking at myself in this like super magnifying mirror and the skin 
is looking so nice, like so beautiful. It is insane. I mean, look at that. Look at that glow that is still coming through from the Dior enhancer. That is beautiful. But anyways, let's go ahead and set everything in place. And I am going to use this powder right here, which is the new powder from Hourglass. And this one is in the shade Medium Translucent. It looks like this. Let me see if I can swatch it, yeah. All right, it comes with a little sponge. Let me go ahead and just use it with the little sponge on this side. Should I do my under eyes? Okay, let's do the under eyes. I did a whole entire review for the Natasha Denona powder foundation, the High Glam Powder Foundation. If you guys are interested in seeing how that foundation actually worked out for me the whole entire day, I do have a wear test video. That is definitely blurring the pores between my brows. I don't feel like it's giving me like extra coverage though. Where are my pores? Where are my pores? <sighs> They are completely gone. That is insane. I've been hearing nothing but mixed reviews when it comes to this powder right here from Hourglass, to be quite frank with you guys. So I wasn't super, super excited to use it. But now that it's on my face, let me tell you a little bit about my skin before I tell you my reaction when it comes to this powder. I am oily to combination. I do have an oily T-zone and I'm pretty normal in the outer part of my face. I am super impressed with this powder right now. Like absolutely love it it looks airbrushed it looks so nice i don't feel like it is overly emphasizing the lines that i do have on my under eyes but i don't think it's the best just by the way that it's sitting on the skin right here especially on my under eyes i don't think it's the best i can definitely use a different powder something that is a little bit more silky more smooth something that is a little lighter for the under eyes but for the rest of the face can we can we take a look? I love. Here is no powder. And here we have the powder. Obsess. Wow. I mean, where are the pores? Where are the pores at? Pores here. Because we have all that shine going on. No pores here. Okay. Um, yeah, I am. I'm, I am. Blah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this powder and to continue on using it because the loose setting powder from Hourglass is just not my favorite. I tried it a lot of times and unfortunately it just did not work out for me. But this one, this one looks good so far. All right, so here's how the skin looks with the powder. Dude, it looks flawless. What? That looks so flawless. Okay, moving on. I don't have a new bronzer, but I'm going to continue using this one right here from Armani Beauty. I have been really enjoying it. Here's how the bronzer looks on the skin. And just in case you miss the other videos, I love this bronzer so much just because it is super easy to build up. You can definitely build it up even more because it is pigmented. <laughs> but you can use it light handed and you can get this beautiful bronze to your skin, which I absolutely love. Let's go ahead and now move on to these highlighters right here from Dior. These are, again, the Forever Glow Maximizers, and I do have mine in the shade Gold and Pink. First of all, let's go ahead and just swatch them because I don't know what I am looking for, really. I don't know how they're going to apply to the skin. So this one is the gold one, and this one right here is the pink one. As it's drying down, it's actually looking very bronzy. And this one right here is looking really nice and pink. I don't know what to do. All right, you know what? Let me just apply a little bit of the pink one. Oh my goodness. Did I make a mistake? Is it going to pull my foundation? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to use the BK Beauty in 109. <sighs> I'm so scared. Okay. Okay, it's not, it's not pulling any of the foundation, the powder that we use. Look at that. That is such a beautiful, like, very, very natural highlight. Yeah, it's definitely not pulling any of the foundation. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'll use the gold one on the next one. Let me go ahead and just do the same thing here. Okay, let's not get excited. 
I'm doing like light taps just to ensure that it's not going to pull any of the foundation and it's not it's not i'm just so scared that i've experienced that before so i i definitely don't want to have like any patchiness this base was looking so nice i just i'm so afraid to like ruin it all right so to me it looks absolutely gorgeous but what do you guys think do you guys like this shade is so beautiful so these are the two powder blushes that i have in mind this one i have not tried yet and this one is in the shade of french rosette i don't know how deep it's going to be i think it's more of a terracotta kind of shade i don't think it's gonna go with this like pinkiness that i have going on but look how beautiful wow that is gorgeous okay let me see this nars one right here um this is their new reformulated blush in the shade of torrid again it's more on the orangey side yeah this is oh my gosh this is torrid and this is french rosette do they not look like the same <gasps> am i crazy all right let me let me go ahead and swatch it side by side so you guys can see it so this is torrid feels really nice and buttery very very beautiful very warm tone comparing it to the highlighter that i have here that's a little bit more on the cooler side um and this one is in french rosette from house lab okay so house lab definitely has a really nice beautiful buttery formula but it is more on the matte side comparing it to the shade in torrid from nars it does have like a luminosity to it like the shade is very very similar the finish is definitely going to be a little bit different being that the nars is a little bit more on the luminous side comparing it to french rosette from house labs that it's more on the matte side but that is gorgeous i don't know what to do let me try both of them i'm going to try this one right here in torrid from NARS and because it does have that luminosity to the blush is enhancing the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer yeah you can see it it's beautiful though cleaning the brush just to blend things out a little bit more now the brush is clean again and we're going to go with this one right here which is in French Rosette from House Lab let's see These ones are super pigmented, so I went ahead and cleaned my brush a little bit. I think they look really, really close, if not the same, because I'm not able to really tell one from the other, especially with the pink highlighter from Dior being under. But that looks absolutely beautiful. I love what it did just to give us a little bit more like life to the cheeks i'm going to just leave the skin alone i'm not going to add any highlighter i think it looks absolutely beautiful right now so let's go ahead and move on to the eyes and i'm going to be using this ysl palette finally this is in the shade 100 which is more on the cooler side really nice and beautiful but i am going to add a little bit of this palette right here from this yard this one is the koi palette i don't know what i'm gonna do yet so let's go ahead and just let's just just play with it all right so going in with this shade first I'm going to use that as my transition shade i'm really going to tap the excess because i don't want to have any fallout on my face just going to build it up little by little it doesn't have any sheen it's showing up on my skin tone but very very lightly definitely more of a cooler shade just adding it to the crease to the outer corner and on my lower lashes standing it out just a little bit so now using this darker shade right here with a smaller brush whoa that's a lot of pigment and i'm just going to focus that in the outer corner yeah that is definitely going to give you that definition that you want you can definitely build it up to even be darker but i'm going to be super light-handed with it just to add a little definition here in the outer corner and on my crease so I'm going to use the lighter shade just to pack it on the lid and just brighten things up. Okay, so I went ahead and used this shade on my lower lashes like you saw and then this shade right here in the inner corner 
um, and that is exactly what I needed. This palette is so beautiful, especially for what's in right now for like those like super easy kind of eyes, nothing too much. I'm going to curl my lashes and try this YSL mascara that I got as a little sample. So I went ahead and applied the mascara, which is a really, really nice because it actually dries down pretty fast. And I like that because I do have to recurl my lashes. And this is how the mascara looks after I recurl my lashes and the eyes so pretty like super super pretty i did remove the foundation from my lips and if you're able to see that is splitting is because my lips were actually super dry anyways i wanted to try this lip liner i don't know how it's going to look on me this is a, such a popular lip liner or actually liner um because this can be used for your eyes for your brows anywhere on the face including your lips and usually i use these right here for the lips more than anything else but this one is in the shade endless cacao Mm, okay okay this is definitely going to contour my lips it doesn't look great it's definitely more on the cooler side but it does not look great it looks really really nice uh, okay i like that i'm just going to fade it in just a little bit like to blend it into the lips just a little bit so i'm going to be a little bit more soft-handed Finally, I'm going to be using this one right here, which is from YSL. These are called the Love Shine, and I do have mine in the shade 201 Rose Wood, and I think it's gonna go perfect with this look. I feel like it was like a YSL kind of video just because I have been using a lot of YSL, but you know, it is what it is. So good on the lips, it is amazing. Mm, and it has like a like a fruity kind of scent to it this feels so good so what do we think with the lip liner i think it looks really nice i think that these two right here are definitely a must have but you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree i think that this lip combo just tie the whole entire look together and here is the final look Before I start talking about all of the products that I use today, I also wanted to share with you guys that this scent right here from Fleur in Dragon Fruit, oh my gosh, so good, so good. Just wanted to share that with you really quickly. It is so nice and fresh and fruity, like so girly, but like grown up -y. That's so good. I love it. So now let's go ahead and talk about the products that I use for today's video. You guys already know how I feel about the bronzer, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. I already have a full review comment on with this foundation, but I did already try it in a first impression. So if you guys want to check that video out, I'm going to link it down below. But let's go ahead and focus on the things that were really new, new, new to me, which are these Dior products. I, I love this. I absolutely love it. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous on the skin. I definitely see myself reaching for this one for sure during the summertime and just pairing it with a, a little bit more of a mattifying foundation just to give me like that glow within oh my gosh so beautiful love the way that it blended it to the skin I really like the shade in too I don't know how this is going to work with me as I get a little bit deeper in shade but, but I will definitely keep you guys posted but so far I mean amazing amazing love it and the same goes for these two right here i think that they are really nice beautiful like natural highlighters not over the top it does not look like metallic it just looks so beautiful on the skin you really don't see it when i am like looking forward but when i turn my face you can see how beautiful and glowy this product is like this shade right here in pink i didn't think that it was going to be one of my favorites just because i felt like it was going to be a little bit too cool tone for my skin tone but it ended up working out so so nicely and just pairing it with a warmer blush i think that that definitely just brought it to the next level for me this one right here in shade gold is definitely going to be a shade that i am going to be using when i start doing like the bronzy like kind of look for like summertime like yeah i can definitely see myself reaching for these two over and over and over again because i just love how the skin looks i mean look at the highlighter it is not like super intense. It is not texture whatsoever. It is really nice and smooth, very nice and glowy. It is definitely not enhancing any of the 
fine lines that I have, the texture just because it's liquid so it kind of like melts it into the skin absolutely gorgeous products now the concealer is not new but i am so happy that i tried this little baby one in the shade at beach i i am definitely going to be purchasing the full size once i run out of this one right here because i think it is such a beautiful concealer so creamy very very beautiful on the skin like i forgot how much i like it and because the other shade i really don't reach for it as much like i kind of forgot about it but super nice <sighs> do you need these two blushes right here no you do not need these two blushes right here it depends on you if you are looking for something a little bit more mattifying or something that you're going to be using like a glowy base to it and you just want your blush to be a little bit more mattifying then definitely try this one from house labs i absolutely love the formula very nice beautiful blendable just so gorgeous and this shade is definitely one of my favorite shades to have in my collection it's just it, it's just so nice and this one again is in the shade french rosé but i did not know that torrid from nars was going to be like so close i would have picked a different shade from nars if i knew that it was going to be so close in shade because I didn't even think about it. I mean, look at it. It is, let's look at it one more time. They are so close in shade and on the cheeks, like this one is the one that I have on this cheek right here, which is Torrid from NARS. And this one is the House Lab in French Rosette. You cannot tell me that you see a huge difference because you will be lying to me. <laughs> I am telling you, you cannot really see a huge difference. I cannot believe it. I am super, super impressed. All right, so now moving on to this palette right here. I didn't use this shade right here just because I thought it was going to be a little bit too taupey, too cool tone for this look that I have going on. Let's just add a little bit because, you know, I already finished with the look. Okay, I love this. I thought that it was going to be a little bit more like pigmented with a stronger base, but it is not. It's like super nice. Oh my gosh, it has the most beautiful sparkle to it. And it's definitely not super pigmented. So no, this is perfect. Ah. Oh. oh my goodness. And with the purple, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. So I thought that it was going to be a little bit too deep, a little bit too dark like a little bit too smoky for the look that I wanted to do today, but it's definitely not. It gives you like the most beautiful, like super, super finely milled sparkle. It's like super, super soft to the touch. I'm so happy that this is a try on makeup video because I get to do that. And I am just super, super excited that I decided to just add this to the eyelid. Again, it didn't add too much color to it. It didn't make it too smoky. It just gave it a really nice, beautiful, like sophisticated sparkle to the eyelids. And the formula feels absolutely beautiful, like very buttery really nice and gorgeous i love this eye look and you guys already heard that i really like this lip combo right here i'm super happy that this was not super cool tone it actually just added a little bit of definition to my lips like a lot of definition to my lips which is nice and this right here is just feels so nice it feels like butter on your lips it feels so like nourishing super glossy but not over the top, like it's slipping and sliding everywhere. It feels so luxurious. The packaging has so much weight to it. I am extremely happy with the result of this makeup look, trying all of these new products from the Sephora <laughs> VIV sale. I'm super late, I know that, okay? <laughs> I'm still gonna say. I hope that this video was entertaining. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, and I will see you next time.